Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Smart Trader. This is Dias Paul, and thank you so much for all your likes, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you are a new viewer, definitely go to our channel, watch all the learning videos, and if you're liking such learning videos, you can hit the subscribe button to be a part of this big family. For the ones on additional services only, WhatsApp only, 7892652481 is our customer care number. For the ones who wants to be part of my secret Telegram channel, you can open your DMAT or uh, trading account in Zeroda or Upstock or Angel Broking. So Angel Broking is free so you can open your accounts. So without wasting time let's start off with today's topic. So before we start off with today's topic so if you are a new person then I would recommend you to go and watch our playlist that is technical analysis concepts. So I think we have around eight videos piled up in this. There are many other uh, things uh, playlists which you can learn but technical analysis concept if you're not gone through go through that so that when I talk about this you will feel better all right so let's get into today's topic so today we are going to talk one more technical analysis concept that is nothing but triangle patterns basically price patterns what is price patterns when your candle price moves like this it creates a pattern right I told you it creates like a car pattern it creates like a dog pattern same way if a pattern is created like a triangle so we know how a triangle looks different type of triangle like this triangle so if it is creating a triangle type of patterns we are going to discuss in this particular video so it is a technical analysis concept so i'll make it simple and clear so that everyone should understand this particular video no matter you're an expert or a beginner everyone should understand in a simple words so first let's go with the uh, theory and then we will show you practical so you get attached to it so I would say three types which I will be discussing today that is a symmetrical triangle, ascending triangle, descending triangle. So basically just keep in mind here ascending means going up, okay, descending means falling down. Basically we are planning to go up, uptrend here, it's gonna fall here, okay, that is a basic idea here. In symmetrical, yes, it depends on your, how the price came, either it can break up, sometimes it can break down also, we will see how it works. So we will go one by one, so first one we will talk about ascending so that you don't get confused. So this is how the ascending triangle looks like. So in ascending triangle, rem re remember, see this is the high, right? This is the high, high, high. Stock went up, down, up, down. So this is the high, this is the low. So always remember your low will go up and up. See now this is the low, now higher low. So that's the reason I've written here, higher lows. So over here you see the low has gone up, one step above, above it's going up, up, up. So what is this line? This is your support. Right? this is your resistance this is resistance this is support so your support goes up if your support is going up that means what you are getting good push from downside so somewhere we are expecting for a breakout upside where is my breakout on my resistance line so this is my resistance line so our resistance line should be in such a way that it should go horizontal so we should find a, a point where the highs are going sideways like this horizontal so this is my resistance and I should draw a line in such a way that my low should go higher and higher. So I should get a slope like this, upside slope, upward slope, okay. So if I'm getting upward slope like this, this is called ascending triangle, basically going up. We are expecting a breakout upside. So talking about the volume, so if you see the volume or volatility, if you see here, see it goes lesser and lesser. See, you see the movements are getting smaller, the volumes will get smaller. Uh, so this is what you can experience the volumes will get slow, slower 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 so once the breakout is done you see a breakout is done your volume will spike up either in this formation it is upside breakout right so the volume goes up when a breakout happens so when a breakout happens your volume goes up till then you can see the volume fading away you would have seen stocks getting slower right sometime this is the reason and when a breakout happens only you see sudden spike like this candle going spike spike like this so this is one of the reason now talking about the target as per theory so this is as per theory which i have learnt in my mba modules so i will tell you how they look into so basically they look into the widest range now for example roughly it's there is no point like this is the point so roughly now let's say this is the widest range i'm seeing okay somewhere the movement now here it is 100 rupees here it is 90 rupees so 10 rupees range right from here to here 10 rupees so when a breakout happens when i take a position from this point somewhere 10 rupees is my expectation of target now maybe i entered in halfway here so only eight rupees is available but 10 rupees is the point so how much our range is there we try to take advantage so much range to target so this is how uh, a technical trader takes advantage of this particular uh, situation now showing an example of ascending triangle 
let's go for I have I have taken three examples which I can show you so I have drawn already so it's all basically reading the chart guys so you open a chart uh, so for example I put one day because it is very good in short term trading and swing trading in intraday also you can come across such situations but uh, I have taken few examples because by the time I open the chart and check it I will waste time so I have already found three examples for you guys you can open every chart today as a homework for a month or two three months open charts start reading why I say start reading is now you will feel what is he telling me it is very difficult I don't understand see when we learned A B C D initially it was very difficult A for Apple A P P L E learning the spelling was difficult now if I ask you anything easily you tell let's say English or Hindi or Kannada Malayalam whichever language you're talking today you talk very fast now if I ask you how do you talk A B C how do you know Apple spelling you will say I have learnt it same with charts now it is difficult for you but after few months or few years when you spend time even you will just open immediately you will see okay this is uh, head and shoulders okay over here head and shoulders this is my support line now a breakout happens what was here uh, 15 rupees movement now 15 rupees movement here head and shoulders pattern is over like this when you know these concepts you learn and read charts you will be very fast so in intraday also if some type of situation comes or formation comes you will know how to react as a technical trader so that is the hint behind this motivation so anyways now this is an example of what ascending triangle see now this is a point now let's say I took this point as my one point or let's say these two point as my resistance again I saw reversal here so a resistance see this is my support support so always remember to draw a line trend line you need two points minimum two or more okay so minimum two points to draw a line so now let's say I took this as a resistance because here it came and came down so why it came down because there is a resistance backside so I drew a line like this and now let's say I'm taking a support line touching all the lows now the low is going up low 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 is going up support is going up so what is our expectation just go to this particular see the low is going up up and high is remaining somewhere in the same range so this is my resistance support is going up somewhere I'm waiting for a breakout here taking advantage same way here you see my low is going up low is going up here here this is my resistance and there was a breakout here breakout in the sense your candle should close close above the resistant line so now for example let's say this didn't close let's say this candle opened and it closed here you see this green candle closed above in this particular point now let's say I took a position here example in a swing trading or short term trading I took a position here now how much is my target roughly let's say the widest range of this is not here somewhere in this range right so let's say 398 let's say roughly 400 rupees below is around 270 rupees let's say around 120 rupees target so let's say in 400 from here if I put 120 rupees target above 520 right so somewhere see roughly as per theory my target will be here see this is my target point as per technical analysis theory my target is here how much it went here so much I'm expecting here it's not that immediately you take a next day only one candle will go no it will take few weeks sometime okay few weeks to go or few months also some in some cases it will go even this formation what you're seeing this is few weeks formation or few months now you see this is September to uh, this September to previous September and there's a breakout happened almost after a one year there's a breakout happened so like this every stock will have some type of story behind it and if you start reading the charts and writing down the formations and you track these type of situations you will also take advantage along with them that's how a lot of technical analysis traders take their position or put the investment based on technical analysis now going on to the next one very simple descending triangle opposite of it ulta okay basically your low will be like this only but your high will be coming down 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 that means this resistance support support is coming down that means what something bad it's gonna go down okay so lower highs your high is getting lower 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 and resistance goes down see now the resistance is here okay your resistance was like this in first case here resistance going down 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 so you're getting pressured here you're getting hit down coming down coming down so somewhere it we are expecting a breakout downside talking about the volume yes volume will again reduce here because it is getting shrinked here see volume is getting reduced here after the breakout the volume will increase okay increase means there will be lot of people selling here okay so that is why volume goes up so breakout will happen it will go down so target same thing whatever is the widest range around roughly I will take this consideration and from here roughly we will put consideration as per theory 
now let's go to the practical part for this i had got an example of i think apollo right uh, where is this ha huh. so i drew a line over here for apollo see here over here i took this as my point as let's say resistance 1 uh, sorry support 1 and support 2 here uh, resistance 1 and resistance 2 because it reversed reversed confirmation this is my so i drew line like this later on this is a point where we will take a sell position when a breakout happened completely the close should be below this support right so below this line it closed and it is trading below this somewhere let's say roughly i took a position at 119 let's say 190 190 okay so what is my target somewhere this highest peak somewhere let's say this is highest peak so from 200 to let's say 250 50 rupees so from 190 if i put 50 uh, around 140 is my target so overall if you see my target of 140 is achieved somewhere here okay so roughly 140 rupees somewhere here it has achieved my target so this was my target because this was my range here so this is my range here all right so actually you need to consider a range from here so from 200 if you consider 150 is your target so this is your target you see you see a lot of people booking their profits here and the stock again reversing up all right so 50 rupees movement here roughly 50 rupees movement here roughly because you enter 10 rupees late it is not the market problem you have to go with the market so market was 200 you took at 190 but the opportunity is only 150 all right because 50 rupees movement here 50 rupees movement from this point to down that is support line to down so this was an example of apollo tire and apart from that the last one will be the symmetrical triangle in the symmetrical name basically both the direction will shrink okay so your, your support is going up your resistance also coming down somewhere both the side you're getting pressure you know so your volume will be always less it will get lesser 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 breakout will happen any direction it can go up it can go down also be careful target again same thing the widest range now let's say see the market was uptrend here see uptrend that means a stock was going up like this suddenly you see a stock will hit a point and start going sideways like this right that time you draw like this type of line to expect a breakout up same way if a stock was falling and then he got stuck like this you will draw a symmetrical line like this and wait for a breakdown okay so based on the price pattern or price trend how it is going up or down you will consider a breakout up advantage or breakout down advantage in this particular example so now symmetrical i have example of uh, let's say reliance over here i got an example so you see this is my point 1 point 2 point 1 point 2 so let me try to zoom so see uh, resistance 1 resistance 2 support 1 support 2 i drew a line touching all the point your breakout happened it closed above next day i took a position so target around highest point 1174 to 116 so 100 rupees let's say roughly so i took a position so our target from breakout should be 100 rupees so so around 210 rupees 1 to 110 so somewhere around here should our target okay so somewhere around here our target should be because uh, the movement i'm considering here is so much so i am considering so much here okay no matter where i entered i would have entered let's say i have entered here I have entered here but I should calculate my target only from here not from my buy point your buy point can change but technicals can't change okay so everyone will calculate here from this point here so you also you should know if you enter here you should exit here only not before that so this is how you can try taking advantage with this type of uh, triangle patterns uh, so one note I want to mention to my subscribers see technical analysis is more effective for swing trading or short term trading okay intraday trading is one day anything more than one day to one year right one year is swing trading or short term trading or positional trading whatever you call it we will do that so technical analysis is more stronger in that particular situation because the trend will be there we will see the trend and we'll predict the future in intraday trading you can use it like a confirmation along particular pattern and breakout and all that but there are so many people who are not educated about these things I think even though you got a pattern above breakout it may reverse and fall down along with the market but in short term what will happen maybe see intraday today it fell but overall you would have you can see it fell fell up went up went overall it would have achieved your target that is the reason the accuracy is higher of technical analysis in short term all right than intraday so I just wanted my audience to know this because not many people will talk about this. In intraday, definitely, yes, when you start trading, when you know all the information, when you see the charts of 3 minutes, 5 minutes, 15 minutes, you will get some formation. Yes, you can take an advantage. But 
along with other tools you use. For example, let's say you're using some trending stock only to trade today, or else you're taking some RSI, stochastic, uh, risk levels, all these are checking. Then only you're taking confirmation along with this particular patterns. All right. So that is one uh, advice I will give you. So hope this type of learning is helping you guys. So if you have not yet watched the previous videos of technical analysis, watch that. We will learn everything slowly, step by step. All the videos are for beginners to learn so that our goal is in future, we all become better in trading. So thank you so much for watching this video. Hit that like button and spread the love. See you soon in my next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.